If now you want to play Bonnie Tyler, I need a hero for Rongo in your head, you crack on because I am. Good morning all and welcome back to Icarus here on Prometheus this time with me Ironside McCall at Ironside Games. Thank you so much for joining and coming back for part two. So let me catch you up on what has been done so far. Wine, tick. Berry jam, tick. Fruit salad, tick. Saltwater fillet and the saltwater sashimi, we've got the fish going for that. However, we're going to need more saltwater fish and here's why. Beer, done. Bread dough, done. Soybean stir fry, done. Fish pie, not done. However, pastry is done. And I'm pretty sure the bottom one is the freshwater curry, which we already have. Now for the fish pie, we need 25 of both. 25 fresh and 25 salt water. So I think I'm not going to have enough for the both of the salt water fillet meals for the alpine and for the fish pie so we're going to have to craft up a couple more traps and um, which i have the mats for and we'll make them up on the way over to see how many we've currently got i've also got ready for um, the new fishing cut the salting station and the fishing bench as well so we can prepare everything there salt it up so it's ready for traveling i will just need to pick up some salt on the way so what we need to get completed today is all of the fish dishes and then get everything sent off in their respective pods. Then this contract, this operation is completely done. We'll get our lovely rewards and then we can start on the next one, which I'm excited. Um, I'm excited about. So without further ado, we'll just check everything. Food buffs are going in 43 seconds. I can get some more tea so I can add a little bit more buff. On the inventory, we've got everything that's needed. I've set some ramps up already so we can get out of the swamp. Uh, da, da, da. I can easily get some wood whilst we are there. Food for Rongo. That's for the uh, advanced fishing net. Yes, we are good to go. Everything is a-okay. We cannot forget to get salt on the way. It's 8.30 in the morning. The weather is not looking particularly good, so we need to get going as swiftly as we can. Right, we'll just feed him up with some lovely goodness. There you are, boy. Right, so that's all done. Now we'll put our binocs back down. And we shall head out for the day. Maybe it's another night over. Uh, come on. And some hunting to see if we can find any more of our animals needed. Mammoth. Um, ideally, we may find a bear, although I'm not overly confident. I'm struggling to find a bear, and I don't know why. Um, if anybody knows of the ideal location or what to do to get a bear to spawn, I know I could probably do one of the geysers and that would get a load of bears. Um, but if I'm missing something, um, please let me know. Just leg it past that wolf. Okay, ah, there's some salt right there, so we'll grab that. Um, what am I, yeah, okay, so we need two of them. They can go over there. Okay, we'll stop off on the way back, on the way home, and collect all the fresh water stuff so we'll get rid of that get a few more fish in there well oh, I can put a huh I didn't know that I'm gonna have to craft up a really fancy door now right let's move towards the swampland however we will of course grab the salt there we go I got the attack speed mod on it's uh it's quite helpful. Any more around? I think I've got most of it from here to be honest. Oh, there's one. Right, that's plenty of salt. There we go. Right. Let's sprint it back to our swampland. 
fishing cut. If anything exciting happens en route, like I happen to find a bear, I'll let you know. All right, we have safely made it back to our lovely little hut here. It took me a little while to find it because I kind of forgot where it was. I knew it was in this area, but I must have legged it just straight past and clearly wasn't paying attention. Of course, there's a weather event incoming and I forgot to uh, to finish the roof bits, but never mind. Hopefully we should be A-OK. -okay. Now I've cleared out some crap from that one. Okay, that's full now. Uh, that one's got one in. This is the second. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Wait for that to fill up with fish. And these two are currently filling up. Good. Once those four are done, we will head our head home. And we should be able to finish everything then. I've also set up the salting station and the fishing bench as well. So I can fillet it and get everything ready. I do have a door, so I'll close the door while we wait for this storm to pass um, and then we're gonna go see if we can find a mammoth now hopefully we can get lucky we've got some time because they'll take a little while to fill up but what i did manage to get on the way was a lovely komodo vestige so there's an extra item to put on the wall so we're gonna wait out this storm um, i might bring rongo in i know it doesn't matter but uh, you know it's only fair uh, we'll wait out this storm and then we'll get hunting. If I come across a mammoth, of course I will bring you along for the ride. Right, just having a quick check. We don't have many more to go. It's, uh, it's going quicker than expected. Uh, these two are chocker, both full with lovely saltwater fishies ready for us to uh, fill it up and salt up. Uh, the storm's just finished and as you can see it was uh, a pretty bad one. Um, trees falling all over the shop. Um, I was busy during the storm. I just cleared around the edge here of uh, of the base there from the reeds and the fibre because it was poking through and poking through on the floor and it annoyed me. It wasn't very aesthetic like this. It's come back. Uh, so I've just been tidying up. Now I'm hoping because I've put um, foundations down that they won't actually come back but hey never mind um, and I've also made a crate where I can put all the fiber and stuff in um, any fuel and any other bits that I end up getting and I just made some wooden um, roof pieces wall pieces just to fill in the gaps um, for the time being but I will come back and finish it um, and make a, a, a better job so we'll put like a a balcony or a, a landing even outside here with the, the fishing bench on it we'll keep the salting bench inside we'll put some chairs down in there we'll make it a nice little hut for us to to come and visit to get our fresh water a nice little day out if you will uh, so let's just have another quick check have we got any more right we've got one more so i reckon another 20 or 30 minutes or so that one will be done oh excuse me <laughs> that one will be done um, i'm just gonna go and grab that yeast actually and then i will continue a little hunt uh, if I find something cool, I'll let you know. If not, we'll see you back at base. Okie dokie, back at base and I still haven't found myself a mammoth. I've gone around all this area here as much as I can. Can't find one. Just check the fishing traps. They're almost there, just a few more to go. Um, I need to sleep through the night now, however, and then I might just go and have a quick look around this area here whilst waiting for the others uh, to see if I can find that elusive mammoth. I really, really want one. Now, I do know I have seen them right around here, so if I can't find one in this trip to this swampland, we'll go back there and we'll grab ourselves the mammoth head, hopefully. So I'm going to sleep through the night, then I'm going to go and have a look um, if I find one, I will of course uh, let you uh, in on the big hunt. Um, if not, we'll meet you back here at some point. Okay, as you can see, I ran around this whole area, found uh, an entrance into the volcanic region, which I still haven't been to. However, we will definitely be going there quite a lot um, in the next, in the upcoming episode. So hang fire for that one because i've got a few ideas and i'm sure some operations will take us there also um so i did all of this explore exploration and still did not find a mammoth 
So, we're going to collect what fish we have. There's a few spaces left, but I'm getting a little bit bored um, just hanging around. So we're going to fill it and salt what we've got. We're going to go back home, finish as much of the menu as we can. If we need to get some more saltwater fish, then we're going to go over here. We're going to go to this bit of water in the swampland and hopefully see a mammoth there because I'm sure I saw one when we were getting the miasmic um, mats for the tools. So that is the state of play. Fill it, salt, home, cook. If we need more, we're going to go over here. If we don't need more, we get everything sent off and we get that next operation done. So that being said, fast travel time. We'll see you back at base. We made it back just in the nick of time before we lost some saltwater fish fillets. Even the mighty, mighty Rongo with his immense speed, we only just made it back. Now, we did have to wait out a storm for a couple of minutes, which clearly did not help. But that's how many fillets we've got. Now, fingers crossed, it's enough. I did bring a couple of traps back with me, however, so we can go to the other swampland uh, to collect some more if needed. So, crumbed saltwater fillet, let's do that first. Right, crumbed. Crumbed saltwater fillet. Okay, one, one, and one, and we need 25. This is where I don't have enough animal fat. <laughs> Please don't be the case. <laughs> I don't have enough animal fat. Um, animal fat is fine. That is easy enough to get. So we'll make up what we can. Make some room in the freezer. We'll use this one up. Out oh, and dough. Right, let's quickly get that on the go. Crumbed. Right, max. 17. Right, well, they're crafting up. Let's put the fish back. And there. And let's grab some animal fat. Okay. I can't believe it's animal fat I'm short of. But there's plenty of animals around. I can hear Mr. Wolf. Where are you? I say there's plenty of animals around. There's usually plenty of animals around. A couple over here. All right, let's take him out and give some people time to come and say hello. Good shottings. <laughs> Anyone going to come and say, uh, who did that? No, nope. all right. Now, this isn't going to be enough. I'm going to need a few, a few animals. All right, is it... Plain, plain Equix thing. Ah, oh, brilliant. Just as I'm out in the hunt. That scared him off. He would have given quite a bit. You will. There we go. We're just going to have to stay outside. Simple as that. We're not too far from base. We don't have our Arctic armor on, though, so we are risking it for a biscuit. Come on, come on, come on. No modifier on that one. What else have we got? Oh, there. Oh, okay. These three slash possibly, yeah, four should do it. Unless they leg it, of course, because I'm hunting them down. Uh, come on, frames. Okay, there's two. When the storms hit, the game drops. Really upsetting because uh, it's the main part of the game for the survival aspect is the storms. Oh, that got the baby. Sorry. Right. All of that, we should be looking pretty. I'll skin them up and then we'll head back in. The extra speed that the Arctic armor gives you, I'm telling you, you do miss when you're not wearing it, especially in a storm. If you're going to do this kind of run through, you 
I highly recommend getting it. Right, let's get some animal fats going. 51. Okay, two minutes. Nearly three minutes for that. We should be golden. Let's check on these. Okay, 17. Things are moving swiftly along. Um, so we're waiting for animal fat. What don't I need animal fat for? The saltwater fillet sashimi. So that's 25. That, they're the fresh water. These are the salt water. So grab you. And I think it's carrot. Which is made here. Saltwater fillet sashimi. 25. Okay. Um... Right, I'm going to stop the animal fat. This is more important, first of all. And now I can chuck it in the freezer. Okay, so. <laughs> sashimi, done. Crumbled fillet, done. So those two are done. The fruit salad is also done. The berry jam is also done. And the wine is also done. Alpine delicacies, done. Beer's done. Bread dough, 40. Yes, bread dough is fine. Soybean stir fry, I think I did that one for 50. Should I put it in the fridge? Soybean stir fry, yes. Oh, that's going to have to go in the freezer. Uh, soybean stir fry, fish pie, haven't started. Right, so that was more. Yeah, loads of animal fat. Let's just make it all up. Nothing in here. Okay, I am going to take all of this over to the Alpine quick. So it's that one, it's that one, and it's the fruit salad. Um, I'm just going to dump some stuff in here so I, I can do it quickly. Uh, put you, 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 you. Okay. Right, that's good. Let's get the... Wine and jam. So, wine, jam. Wine, jam, fruit salad, sashimi. Good. Right, Arctic one is good to go, which means I've opened up some... Yes. Let's quickly put the soybean stir fries back in. Uh... Oh, better not forget those. That could have been a ball lake. They're mine. That's mine. That's for the next one. Okay, Rongo, I hope you've uh, fed and watered yourself. It's five, five o'clock, but we're getting this delivery out. Aha. Okay, let's do it. Rongo is in a very risky position. Okay, that's everything. Good. good. Go. Right, Rongo, I'm coming. I've left him in a really tricky position next to some wolves. You can see it there. Oh, no, Rongo! Fight back! 62%. It could be worse. Right. I've got a cut. And there's another one. Where? Right, I sort my cut out. This is getting intense. We'll head back and we will craft up the rest of the stuff uh, in the morning. We're going to grab a good, a well deserved rest. And good morning, everybody. Uh, we have got the Alpine one delivered. That is all done and dusted. We now just have to focus on. The marshland one and making sure it all survives the journey there um, beer is fine there is our beer 40 beers 40 bread dough 50 okay it's the fish pie 25 freshwater fillet curry that is what I had uh, in the freezer Yes, freshwater fillet curry, 
26. Okay, good. They're done in the freezer. Soybean stir fry, good. They're in the freezer. I might try and put some salt on just to get them lasting a little bit longer. So that's done. That's done. So it's the fish pie. 25 of each. 25 and 25. Just. There's three. Three salt water ones left. And I need the pastry, which is in the fridge. And I think it's the mushrooms as well. So, okay, I'll put those back in the freezer while I go and check on the mushrooms. Everything needs as long as possible. All right, so the mushrooms still have a few minutes left. Um, they are almost pretty much maxed speed. The only way is to add the growth fertilizer. Um, it will be enough. These uh, lot will be enough. So I think... It is just the fr the the fish pie, yeah. So, how much salt? 152. Uh, right. So let's salt it up and then chuck it back in the freezer. Giving ourselves the best because I don't want to have to take extras make extras that's a ball ache all right so that's as long as possible they already have as long as possible uh, the bread dough I only need to take 40 uh, but we'll salt that up the bread might go quite quick, so we will... That's wrong. We will take some extra bread dough, just in case. Right. Now we're just waiting on the mushrooms to grow. We have everything. Stir-fry, curry, dough, beer, fish pie. Let's just double-check the recipe. Uh, it'll be over here. Fish pie. Yeah, we just need 25 mushrooms from what's growing. We should, would hopefully, could just get that from one lot. How much longer? Right, we'll wait for that to go. And then we'll craft it up. And we'll meet you back at the marshlands. Right. Fish pies are crafting up. Minute and 45 seconds. When that's done, we are going to leg it over to the marshland. What time is it? It's 10.30 here on Prometheus. Uh, so we should have plenty of time. While that's going, let's get our Komodo up on display. Bit more coziness. <laughs> you know, the dead head of an animal. And let's get him up. Can't imagine it's going to be a terribly large one. I will just put you by the needler. There we go. Some more coziness and another trophy. Obviously waiting for the big one. Um, that will be an episode. I will get the mammoth. I want the mammoth. I'm probably going to come across two or three of them now. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Alright, how many have we got? 13, another 50 seconds, and then we are, we'll salt them up. Have we got enough salt? 25 salt, 52 salt, yes. We'll get rid of the wood, and we'll get rid of the fishing traps, because we don't need those. I'm kind of glad, and also kind of not glad, because I was looking forward to going to the other marshland bit this episode, to try and get the mammoth but that will just have to be next episode we'll just have to wait now wood can go back there we will not be staying the night uh, mushrooms can go in the fridge I will salt them later there we go and that noise is la fin right get them salted 
lovely salty fish pie. Okay, need some salt now. So, beer done. Fish pie done. Bread done. Uh, da, da, da. Soybean stir fry done. Is that it? Curries done. I'll chow down on one. We only need 25. Right. That's everything. Let's give Rongo a buff and head out. Just battling through a small breeze at coming into the swamp. And as much as I have loved doing this one, I will be extremely... Oh, that's a bit bruised. Oh, we've also got a storm in the swamp. Oh, we're just going to leg it. Hopefully Rongo will get us there in one piece. Come on, boy. Oh. He can do it. He is the mighty, mighty Rongo. I have faith in him. He will get us home. Right. Let's get it! If now you want to play Bonnie Tyler, I need a hero for Rongo in your head, you crack on, because I am. Obviously you can't put it on the video, but I'm playing it. There's the pod. I can see the pod. And we will seek shelter in our awesome little fishing hut once everything is in. Well done, Rongo. You deserve a rest. Right. You, 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 and you. Right. I think you're good. Yes, we are good, Sol. Good. In we go. There we go. Safe as houses. Right. We are going to hang out here uh, whilst we wait for it to uh, to finish. No reward come down. It's a bit selfish. There's a reward pod. It's not telling me to do anything else. Mission complete. I can hear the wood cracking away there because it is just normal wood. We'll give it a little repair. Yeah, just that one. That's a little bit. Everything else should be fine. Doors are the toughest thing. Oh, that's taking damage. Right. We are finished. The mission has now left the left. Left the left. <laughs> you know full well what I mean. Which means the next operation will be available to us uh, for when we get home. We will check it out. We are not going to start it. Rongo and myself are going to take a well-deserved break. Um, but we will check it out together first of all. But we'll fast travel as usual. Um, we'll check it out. We'll take a break. And tomorrow, whenever you're watching this, tomorrow for me will be the next episode for the next operation. Now, as I was saying, I did enjoy this one. Uh, getting to travel around the new places. Uh come to the swamp, explore the swamp land, get all the food ready. Um, I saw some buffs that perhaps could be quite useful at times um, and it was relaxing doing some of the farming, some of the cooking. But it did get annoying. Bye. It did get annoying towards the end 
because I had some really bad weather, I had some bad lag as well, it was just frustrating trying to get everything there um, without having to make extras. So top tips, keep everything in the freezer as long as you can and salt everything before you head out for that extra bit of preservation. It really does help. Take Rongo with you or take your version of Rongo with you. Make sure he's stamina, stamina up with some animal feed and just hightail it, get it done and move on. I did enjoy it, but it's not possibly not my favorite one. Um, I'm quite happy I don't need to do it again. And Rongo got us home, no troubles at all. He's now safely in the barn, doors closed. He's having a little rest, God bless him. Um, because without him and his speed, this would have just been impossible, I reckon. So having him, it really did help. So now we'll have a little look to see what is next. That's the wrong one. Here we go, operations. Where are we? We've just completed Celebrity Chef Stockpile. Yeah, Stockpile 2, right? So we are now in Shadow Investigation. Okay, Tier 4 Tech, that's not a problem. Only one skull. Group 15 wants you back on the case of that thief you were tailing. That's Seems all. they found another set of tracks. Want to check it out? Yep. We will be checking that out tomorrow, Sol. So, here we go. Triangulate the hidden base, investigate the hidden base. Okay, because we are on hard, that skull is now three skulls, and we get more rewards, obviously. Um, I will be getting another cot as well, so I might want to leave one in the in the fishing hut over in the swamp. So we will accept that one. Seeing as how you did so well last time, Group 15 wants you back on the case, Sherlock. I've even been given a message for you from some uptight rep lady. Uh, I got it around here somewhere. Uh. Hello, Prospector. My name is Clark. I will be your handler for the group on any future assignments. Our analysis of your performance confirms your viability as a potential partner to the group. Very few meet our criteria. Your guide should provide mission details. We look forward to working with you further. Sounds like you're well on the way to being redacted out of UDA reports. Good for you. Let's just make sure you're not a little black box under the KIA section. <laughs> they need you to find the location of another base. Must be nearby here somewhere. Okay. Exciting intro. And I'm very excited to get these next few started. They do look exciting. We have probably haven't got anything on the map just yet. No, it's a very poor performance at the moment. Maybe it's the... I, I have no idea why. Um, right, so that is not up yet. Collect the provided equipment from the pod. No pod has dropped. Right, well, we'll look into that tomorrow. I'm sure there will be a pod that's dropped somewhere for us to go and collect right hope you enjoyed this one everyone it was a long one but we have finished it and we are starting the next operation uh if it doesn't quite work out with the pod we'll just abandon it and try again lather rinse repeat thank you so much for watching and sticking through to the end hopefully you enjoyed it um, if you did please make sure to remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and as always take care and we'll see you next time.